They're in their 80s, they're frail, but Peter and Elizabeth Skelton have spent six years fighting for their daughter. When Susan Nicholson was found dead in 2011, her boyfriend, Robert Trigg, said she'd accidentally suffocated. They didn't believe him. The truth was that he'd murdered her and killed another girlfriend, Caroline Devlin, five years before. But police said there was nothing to investigate, so Susan's parents gathered the evidence themselves. The way we looked at it, the police should have done the investigation, not us. You know, but we had to do it in the end because we were forced to. Rob, why do you think she's dead? Trigg got a neighbour to make the 999 call, claiming he killed Susan by accident in his sleep. He thinks it could be suffocation. Okay, uh, and what, from, from what, what, from what? We both crashed out on the third last night. I woke up this morning, my head that way, she was down. Susan's parents had to hire their own pathologist to prove that was a lie. Yeah. What sort of personal toll does it take on you? over the years you've, you've pushed for this. How hard has it been? Well, it's Elizabeth had a mild heart attack and uh, yeah. it's, it's been very hard. In, in fact, if you wake up in the middle of the night, you can't go back to sleep again. Like this morning I was awake at four o'clock in the morning, I didn't go back to sleep. It's because you're always thinking of, the, of what's happened over the years. Yeah. The force, which for so long refused to investigate, say they've now asked the police watchdog to look at the decisions they made. How do you feel personally at the fact that two elderly people spent thousands of pounds of their own money and years of the last years of their life doing your job for you? Well, Sussex Police are here to serve the communities and the people who live in Sussex. They don't feel very well served. And, and of course, we don't want to let people down. So that is why it's really important that we do review, we do always continue to learn uh, and strive to be the absolute best we can. He had a long history of violence against women. Robert Trigg begins a life sentence in prison tonight. What put him there was the strength, the perseverance of two loving parents. Dominic Reynolds, 5 News at Lewis Crown Court.